All right, what's up, YouTube? Just gonna shoot a quick post shed video of clutch number two. One sec. All right, yeah, no, they turned out uh, really good. Here's the killer bee. Just a really beautiful snake. Really washed out white head. He's actually got like blue eyelids on his head there still. Looks really beautiful. They all just shut out yesterday, so I'm hoping to uh, give them a break for today, get them settled in, and probably try to feed them all tomorrow. Definitely not pastel butters too, just butters. I seen a couple vids of uh, pastel butters right out of the egg, and you definitely know when you got one, that's for sure. But the butters turned out really nice. Still got some nice blushed out backs. Like even the head's a little bit blushed. So yeah, that's uh, butter number one there, butter number two. I haven't sexed them yet, so I'm going to get a meal into them, and then uh, I'm going to get them sexed. Like, I mean, I can pop them, but I'm just, I'm pretty new at it all, so I mean, I don't really like doing it. I just take them to a friend of mine, he'll probe them. So sometime this week, we'll know what we got, males or females. But like, look at them, they're just gorgeous looking butters. Yeah, so butter number two, and this is uh, probably one of my favorite ones. Just really dark back, and then just goes into some nice blushing down on the sides. Turned out really nice. I'll be keeping all the females out of this clutch, most likely anyways. Just going to hold them back. That's pretty much what I'm doing this year. So in a couple of years, I'll have some army of females ready to go. See that? Butter number three. And uh, the two normals in the clutch. I'll be selling them if they're male or female. Just don't hold on to too many normals these days. They are really nice, so they got some really dark blacks. Yeah, so there they are, clutch number two. Looking really good. And there's my little prize out of this clutch, that killer bee. I love that snake. Male, female, doesn't matter. It's going to be staying with me. Just want to see this thing grow and how it looks as it starts to grow up. It's really nice looking now, that's for sure. Hopefully the colors are coming up good on this camera. I do all my videos with my iPhone, so it is still HD, but it just looks really nice. It's almost like just a really, really pale yellow right now. Like it's hard to tell where the whites on the side start and the yellows begin. It actually picks up a little bit better on camera than it does in just by eye. Yeah, really nice looking babies. Yeah, so we got that, and uh, might as well do another small update right now. I went to the show the other day, too. Mississauga Reptile Show. And I didn't plan on grabbing anything like I always do, but I always end up buying something when I go down there. So, this is what we got. I got a pair of Heck Clown, male and female. Actually, really nice looking. Definitely nippy little buggers, too. So, there's the male. It's just 
hissing away. He's not happy right now. I just woke him up, I think. The female bit me yesterday, so she's a little bitey, too. But yeah, so a couple years, we'll have uh, some clowns on the go. Got a really good deal on that pair. So I couldn't turn it down. As soon as they got home from the show, they both ate for me, too, so... I was pretty happy about that. There's the female. Just look like a little nicer than normals, you know? But they're both 100% head for clown. And yeah, that's about it. I got uh, this girl in a partial trade. Big, uh, I think she's like 18, 1900 grams, 66% head albino. I don't have uh, my albino mail anymore, but uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with her. I just got such a good deal on her, I just thought I'd take her. I might even just breed my pie to her. Got some uh, het pieds, pos, actually some double hats, 100% het pied and uh, pos head albino. So I might do that, or I might uh, talk to a buddy of mine, see if he wants to uh, get in a little group project with his albino male. See if we can't prove her out this year, but she just she eats really good too. And a couple of my females that I was hoping to get up to size for this year, it's kind of iffy right now if it's gonna happen. So I figured one more big breeder girl ain't gonna hurt. So yeah, there's the update, guys. Clutch number two, little killer bee. It's another thing I wanted to talk about too is. Like my B, I, like I call him B tarted because he's got that. He doesn't got the head wobble, but he's got the spins. You know what I mean? Like every time he's moving around, he's just doing spins. And that's the dad of this baby right here. And as you can see, the, the motor controls are perfect. No head wobbles, no spinning, nothing like that. So it doesn't mean all you guys out there, if you got a spider, a B, whatever, that's really got that head wobble. It doesn't always get passed down into their babies because as you can see this baby is perfect all right guys I'll leave it at that I'm probably gonna do a full update collection sometime this week or next week so once I do that I'll post that vid too all right guys thanks for watching take it easy